Hello everyone, Wayne Mods from the National Civil War Museum License Guide at the Gettysburg National Military Park and I'm standing on the Gettysburg Battlefield near the Emmitsburg Road in the fields of Pickett's Charge for July 3rd, 1863. Over my shoulder, the Abraham Bryan Farm owned by a free African American here on the Gettysburg Battlefield, a very historic area that I'm standing in. You always hear, how far did the Confederates get in Pickett's Charge? They get up to the Emmitsburg Road, did the majority of the Confederates get out of the road, and go up to the center of the Union line, or did they stay in the road, and did they seek cover there on July 3rd against the Union artillery and infantry? We've got a great piece of evidence called the S.G. Elliott burial map. Simon G. Elliott was from California. Go to the Adams County Historical Society's website, read their blog, you can learn about him. But the S.G. Elliott burial map, published in 1864, that map lists over 8,000 graves on the Gettysburg battlefield and over 300 dead horses on the Gettysburg battlefield and a huge mass of graves buried right over my right shoulder, right to the left of your screen, just on the east side of Emmitsburg Road for Pickett's Charge. This piece of evidence clearly shows us the majority of the Confederate soldiers killed or mortally wounded on July 3rd, 1863 that died here uh, or dying on the east side of the Emmitsburg Road or the side of the Emmitsburg Road that is closest to the Union line. The Confederates got out of the road, the majority of them got up and were killed on this side closest to the Union line. How do we know that? Do you drag a body from the west side of the road and bury it on the east side of the road? Certainly you don't. The Elliott burial map clearly shows the majority of the Confederates killed in Pickett's Charge, buried here after the battle, died on the east side or Union side of the road. I hope you enjoyed this short story. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks.